Hello everyone, a wild sauce appeared and uh, I'm thinking for uh, this time around I'm going to go for, for a little bit of a slower commentary today. It's it's the start of my, start of my, uh, my, I'm losing my words here. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen to be so calm. <laughs> uh, it's the start of my fall break and I want to relax in between work shifts. So I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to talk really fast. I'm just going to get to know you a little. Because it's very early in the morning and I don't have my caffeine with me. I'm not a Dr. Pepper. Somebody help me. <laughs> that's that's where I get my caffeine nowadays. Coffee's become too con uh, too expensive. I'm a Starbucks man. I'm sorry. It's just who I am. It's like it's like somebody who says their favorite restaurant is McDonald's. It just it just doesn't really work. I mean, I mean that oh, that uh, cookie crumble frappuccino was amazing. But I'm getting off of the topic that I wanted to start with, and be wary, um, this topic in particular is going to be one of very, very much controversy. And you know me, I'm just a, I'm just a cash cow for that sort of thing. I, I love controversy, but this one will be more controversial in particular, and that is Christianity versus rock and roll. Now I know what you're thinking. What, what, what kind of fuck, what, why would you compare the two things? They're like two completely different things. People try to mix them, but it never turns out well. Why are you doing this, Silas? Well, we had a discussion about Christianity in my American Religions class, and that was to say that uh, every single brand of Christianity, whether it be Baptists, uh, uh, evangelicals, uh, Catholics, etc. They all try to define themselves as Christian for the most part. And to be honest, it, it it's kind of weird. It's kind of undefined what uh, what really defines Christianity. And so my professor put it put it as saying as suggesting that being a quote unquote Christian is more of a brand name than anything. A brand name that every oh, by the way, this part is rep is repeating itself. I don't know why it does, why it did that, but I, I'm, it's not a problem with my sound system. It's the problem with the game. Anyway, uh, and this part actually, I kind of enjoy this part of the game, but I'm getting off topic. But Christianity is sort of a uh, a brand name more than anything, and that every single group that believes in the Bible, etc., uh, tends to tends to try to grab that for their own and say, No, we are the Christian people. They're, they're just pretenders. And I'm not here to say who's right or who's wrong in that factor, not necessarily. But it was a very interesting comparison. Now, here comes the term of rock and roll. I, I It's not so much rock and roll as it is metal. And... I, I, you know me, I'm, if you've watched my Much Ado About Music uh, video, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of music and metal in general. And I can't help but be remnant, as soon as uh, one student in particular showed up by, by suggesting in class that Mormons, no matter what they thought, were, uh, I were not Christians by any means, and I'm not here to disagree. I did disagree with him, but I'm not going to go into that. But what I'm going to get into is how, <laughs> in spite of how much I wanted to call that person out, I mean, I'm not Mormon. I'm not. I was raised it, but I, I'm not no more. I got better. <laughs> I, I apologize if anybody is Mormon. I, I mean no disrespect. Um, if anything, I'm trying to defend you guys, but I, it was a really interesting statement because like, I had a, this revelation as soon as he said that, I was just like, that sounds like me when it comes to metal. And, <laughs> I mean, I, I made a connection. I made a huge connection in that class by saying that metal is like Christianity. Where everybody has their own ideal of what it is when it's just a really vague concept to to introduce something that nobody really understands that everybody wants to be. It's 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 Christianity. That's what metal is. It's just 
It's just a revamped version of the term Christianity. It's another record. It's another label that everybody wants, but there's no guidelines on how to be that specific uh, that specific label. It just it astounds me how these two things manage to be how they manage to connect at all, but they connect so well. I mean, I've gotten into so many arguments with so many people over what's metal, what bands metal, what's not. But that will wait until this cutscene's over. Ah, we're falling! Ugh, I got us! Yay! Yay might be pushing it. By the way, I'm trying to uh, replace the, the caffeine in my system with sugar. I've got a root beer right here. Beautiful. Mm. Tastes pretty good. I, I love root beer. I mean, you, yeah, <laughs> root beer is such an underrated drink. I mean, I know that everybody's heard of it, but it's still pretty goddamn underrated. I, I've been to restaurants without root beer, and I'm just like, what's wrong with you people? Why don't you have my root beer? That is when I don't have Dr. Pepper. God damn, do I love Dr. Pepper. But I've had so many arguments with people over what band is metal, what band is not. And now I realize how utterly stupid I am in thinking and trying to create and trying to incite this label that, that quite frankly, doesn't per se exist. It doesn't necessarily exist because everybody has their own idea of it. And so it exists in everybody's mind, but in a different way. And, and now I don't know what why what to call metal if I'm really a metalhead if if that can if that's even a thing anymore I don't know what to think and I need help I need I, I'm not even sure if I do need help it's it's a very interesting thought that's now stuck in my head that I can't get out I can't get this thought out of my head what the def what defines metal and if anything defines metal. by the way secret space right here Secret super place right here. It's just wow. I I have nothing. I have nothing more to say. I I'm at a loss for for words when it comes to that sort of thing. It's. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm just stuttering for this entire time, but can somebody tell me? Can someone tell me what they define as metal or bands that they define as metal? I don't, I don't want that either. I guess that's the end of my story. I, wow. <laughs> it's, it's just gone so, I, I'm at a loss, people. I don't know what to do now. Oh, and this, this part is frustrating more than anything else. This, this part of the game, anyway. But I like the way that, um, what's his name? What's his name? Little Jimmy Urin's character works out in this I mean, it matches the uh, mood of this particular level really well really well really offsets it but at the same time oh she just kicked the guy in the dick i'm mature <laughs> oh god but do i have anything else to say about christianity versus metal well moral of the story is you uh, you may have it you may not have it but no matter what you think Somebody else will probably think different from you, and if you and if somebody does disagree with them, with you, don't bother because they have their own idea of what it is as opposed to yours. That's really all it is when it comes to that sort of label. And look at that, four zom, five zombies, five zombies. This gives me, and that was a skirt shot. I had never noticed that before. Wow. Look at all them coins! Look at all them coins! It's like I got the new Super Mario Brothers 2. I didn't. I was curious about it, but now I, I, I've actually got to get two games this week. Two entire new release games this week, and I need to save up for those. So I'm not planning on getting Super Mario Brothers 2 as of yet. I may get it when it drops in price, but everybody's, I can say that about just about any game. And I love that move. <laughs> yeah. Metal. Christianity, it's both the same thing, kinda. It's the same concept, just handled very differently. And I am Silas Jenjua. I think that Mormons are Christians too. Uh, reminder, I am not one. And I am Silas Jenjua, and I consider, uh, who can I consider to be metal that doesn't usually, that isn't usually classified as metal by most people. Uh, I could say the used 
their old sound was kind of metal-ish, and it, uh, I, can't, I can't really decide right now. Uh, oh, I've heard a lot of things that, that Avenged Sevenfold isn't metal, and I can see where people are coming from with that, but honestly, I consider them the fuck you! Fuck you and all you stuff. You see, you see what happens when people argue about about what metal and Christianity belong to, about which bands it does. It tears us all apart. Why can't metalheads and Christians just get along and do the exact same things? Why can't we have Corn and fucking and fucking Slayer in a single concert together without a fight breaking out? That won't happen, but I'd like it to. And my video is coming to a close. I'm sorry for wasting your time, but I felt like this was a necessary moral to just throw out there in, in a society like this that tries to get along with each other but has such bad luck doing it. Anyway, I'm a Wild Silas, and you guys can stay wild.